All right, guys, it was a super weekend um, of football this week, and we have three tops and three flops in our tops and flops for this week. Welcome to Triagong TV. I am Okun, and I have Kelechi with me. In the past week, uh, where we did give you nine games and three uh, likely, more like six games and three likely goal scorers, we did have a perfect record, 100%. Um, all nine of our outcomes did come through. Welcome on board, guys. Let's look at our tops and flops. Uh, for the flops, we start off with Chelsea, who were spanked 3-0. Uh, by Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium. Uh, I mean, it was a surprising um, blunder from the Chelsea side. Um, you want to start from Conte, the coach. Uh, he fell into the pressure of starting Cesc Fabregas in that game. Uh, still nothing changed for them. 3-0. Chelsea didn't do anything right in that game. Arsenal were on top of them. The partnership of Ozil and Sanchez came to life in that game at the Emirates. It was really, really sad to see the way Chelsea played. Even when they went on to change from um, a 4-5-1, to a 3-5-2 formation, still they were so flat and I think they deserve that um, crown. Well, it was um, Arsenal's uh, the heaviest victory over Chelsea um, in 19 years, that particular one. Alright guys, away from that, our second flop um, happened to be Paris Saint-Germain who were beating uh, Kelechi. That's surprising. I don't understand what's going on with Paris Saint-Germain. Uh, is it that the magic has left them weak, Zlatan Ibrahimovic? Uh, because since Zlatan left the side, no spark in that side. Even in the Champions League, everything has not gone on well for Una Emre. And when you see that they started a strong lineup against um, this new side, you just um, wonder to Toulouse was? Uh, Toulouse, sorry. Mm -hmm. You just wonder to yourself, what really happened to Paris Saint-Germain? Why they've fallen apart uh, so easily the way they are doing? All right, our third flop happens to be uh, Slavan Bilic, the West Ham United coach, Kelechi. Yet again, West Ham United have failed to win a Premier League game. Uh, is, uh, you, you ask yourself, is it the stadium or the coach? Uh, he went down there, he got some players in there, Zaza, uh, Feguli, and these are players who are supposed to bring life into West Ham's side. Losing 3 0 at home, uh, you, you, you just wonder, maybe Bilic has lost, lost the point. And I think what he needs to do is take on that crown as a flop. I think ahead because he might be the first casualty the Premier League might see this season. Well, they've won just one game this season, that's West Ham United, and not just that, the seats in the relegation zone. Let's leave the flops and let's talk about the tops. Those people uh, that put smiles on the faces of their fans this weekend. And I don't think there's any bigger than the Arsenal, Kelly. Uh, come on, when you choose Chelsea as a flop, you have to take Arsenal mm. as a top. They were uh, they were all around. It was an all round performance from Arsenal, from the defense, the partnership of Kosenian and uh, Mustafi, also the runs from uh, uh, especially Bellerin in there. It was just um, a performance. Alex will be also at his best, Sanchez and Ozil. That goal they scored, that partnership between both of them. I think for us now, everything went right, even though the only, um, uh, what we call back here, the comma in the Arsenal victory was that injury to Cochrane. But I think Jacques came in and did a good job in the midfield. Our second top was Alban Lafont, the 17 year old Toulouse goalkeeper who actually denied Edison Cavani and Paris Saint Germain. Uh, when you talk about denying Edison Cavani, you have to take your mind back to that it was just one year. And Edison Cavani had three good chances to get those goals in. But somehow, Lafon just put himself into the, uh, the game, made sure he denied it. And after those three incidents, it became 2 0 for Toulouse. And Toulouse went on to win that game. Well, uh, Toulouse ended the weekend uh, with um, what, 14 points and they actually sit third on the League One table. And our final top um, is Paul Pogba, the Manchester United uh, midfielder who cost United 89.4 million pounds just a few months ago. And that's what the kind of performance you want to see. Unfortunately for um, uh, lovers of Syria, they know Pogba doesn't have a high rate of goal scoring. But he also performs and when he's doing well, the team does well. I think United fans, United faithful, who were at Old Trafford, who saw Pogba play the way he played, would understand why he's been chosen as one of our tops uh, this week. Well, he scored his first goal for United as United spanked champions Leicester City by four goals to one at the Old Trafford. All right, guys, those are tops and flops. But of course, this week, uh, we do have our six games and three likely goal scorers. There you can see it on your screens. Have yourselves a splendid and a great week ahead till we return your way next time.